morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba here on Friday, January 17th. TGIF. So I wanted to do a video today on the circuses in town. Yeah, we got the circus in town here. So with further ado, here we go. Well, Americans, the circus got in town yesterday when Chief Justice Roberts went across the street to the Senate to take his position as uh, arbitrator or judge of the impeachment trial. Now, <laughs> as a citizen, I would say, they picked the wrong day to do this because as soon as they did all the uh, oath and, uh, to him and the oath to the senators and signing a book, they adjourned the Senate, right, till 1 o'clock on January 20th, I believe, Tuesday. Yeah, I guess today's the 17th, well, 21st, pardon me, January 21st, because uh, today's the 17th, Saturday the 18th, Sunday the 19th, Monday the 20th, yeah, 1, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday, January 21st. So, um, this is the problem here, Americans. When the senators took that oath, it's actually like jurors when you get, oh, you're selected for a trial, and that's it. You can't talk to your, uh, can't discuss that case with anybody, can't talk to anybody about anything. In some cases, they get sequestered, right? Well, this jury is not sequestered. They, they oh, you are adjourned. You can go wherever you want. And no sooner had they taken the oath that uh, Senator Sanders was over there blabbing his mouth. Now, there's a gag order that goes with this oath, Senator Sanders. You should know that. And the second thing, there's four senators there that are running for president. The Constitution never allowed for this kind of stuff. Because they would have thought that if you ran for president, you would give up your Senate seat in order to run for president, right? But these guys haven't given up their Senate seat. So they are part of a jury that's uh, debating the fate of a president, and they're running a political campaign in the middle of a trial. Shouldn't they be able to, uh, persuaded to suspend their campaigns until the trial's over. That means no surrogates or nothing can talk to them about any of the issues out there in public. Like, Sanders can't have AOC over there. You see what I mean, Americans? You, you, you see where this is heading here? I'm just pointing out stuff that your Constitution would not allow because it's technically crazy. And then you got, like I said, the circus is in town because you got Adam Schiff is one of the managers for the House. Whew. And they don't have only two articles of impeachment, right? And the media keeps on saying, for the third time in history. Actually, it's the fourth time in history. They forget about Richard Nixon. Articles of impeachment never made it to the Senate, but they were put out there. And as soon as they were put out there, he resigned because he knew what was happening at the other end. His go goose was cooked. But Clinton... And Trump, no, their goose is not cooked because of the political nature of their impeachment. Whereas Nixon knew that he was criminally and the Constitution had already been applied to him because the uh, Congress at the time, Chairman Rodino and others there, and House Speaker Cal Arbert, which you notice was mostly conspicuous during this time, uh which he should have been. He should have been in the background, just like Pelosi should have been in the background, not in where she's been all the time. They had went to the federal courts and got some constitutional backing to their articles of impeachment. None of these two articles of impeachment against President Trump have any constitutional backing. That is a problem because this is a constitutional trial, not a criminal trial. So President Trump will be the first president to be found not guilty of impeachment, impeached by the House, 
found not guilty by the Senate, and run for re-election. And what are the Democrats counting on? That the impeachment stigma is going to stick to him because uh, the people won't vote for him in November? Are they sadly mistaken about that? There was a lot of hardcore nationalists, a lot of hardcore supremacists, a lot of hardcore Republicans that are can't see anything but Trump that are going to vote for him. And a lot of disillusioned Democrats. So you see, Americans, this is what I'm saying. They should put something in the U.S. Senate to tell us those four guys, you cannot do your election campaigning while you're trying to do a vote against the sitting president of the United States. Am I crazy in doing this? Does anybody else share my opinions on this? This is your favorite alien. I'm just looking at it the way my people would look at a, uh, a thing like this. This is supposed to be a solemn occasion. And you're supposed to have evidence to remove a person from high office. But they don't. This is a political sham. That's why I call the circus. And the bozos are there. All the Democrats I call bozos. In the Senate, well, they could be Skippy the Clown over there. Or Herman Munster. <laughs> Remember him? Right, Bob? <laughs> yeah. Even Bubba says, this smells dog here. And he don't like it when you mention dog because that is an affront to him. So this is your favorite alien American saying, come on, put your pants out. Tell the senators to go back over there, sit, be quiet, don't say a thing until this thing is over. This is your favorite alien and Bubba. Good day.